Hey, Josh from Builder here, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the Builder Studio Pass. Now, whether you're brand new to Builder or you've been around for a little while, there's probably a good chance you've seen the Studio Pass mentioned, and there's also a chance you may not have 100% understood what it was, why you would even care about it, and if it makes sense for you. So in this video, we're gonna go over what the Studio Pass itself is, we're gonna go over who benefits the most from having a Builder Studio Pass, and finally, we're gonna go over the exact benefits that you can expect if you have a Builder Studio Pass yourself. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now I'm gonna go over some of our things on our website here as I talk about the Studio Pass. The most important thing to know about the Studio Pass is that it's your key to unlock all of the studio features that we have available for all of the projects that you own. I'm gonna jump into our pricing page here now to kind of walk through this. One important idea to keep in mind is that the Studio Pass doesn't replace an independent plan for your projects, but it does unlock features that are usually only available on our most expensive plans for every single project that you have, even if you haven't even upgraded to a paid level subscription for that particular project. So let's dive into a couple examples. The most common question that we hear from people is, if I have the Studio Pass, can I publish my projects that I'm building on Builder? And the answer is yes. The Builder Studio Pass lets every single project that you own be able to be published to a custom domain with no Builder branding whatsoever. And so that's the most common question that we receive, but it's not the only benefits that all of your projects are getting as a Studio Pass holder. The best way to think about this is if you actually go to our pricing page and you compare all of the benefits on our pro level plan, which is essentially all of the features that we offer in Builder, all of your projects, again, even your explore level free projects are gonna get all of those features. So if you wanna be able to collaborate with more people on your project before you're ready to launch or pay you to upgrade it, the Builder Studio Pass lets you have up to five people on all of your projects. If you wanna do, like we said, the custom domain launching, that's available to you on all of your projects. And then even more advanced things like using and creating server-side functions for your applications. Partial publishing where you can publish and update just a page instead of the whole project every time you issue it. Or even using more advanced publishing environments to have a test environment, uh, a fully dedicated prod environment. It totally depends on your individual projects. And all of those features that come with the Builder Studio are available to you on all of your projects as a Studio Pass holder yourself. Now, one really important clarification here is that the Studio Pass is designed to give you all of the features of the full studio. So everything that the studio is capable of doing, you're able to do on all of your projects from day one before you upgrade it at all. The one thing that does not happen in a change with the Studio Pass is that you still get the hosting limits as well as the storage limits that come with the current plan for each of your individual projects. And so depending on how much traffic your site's getting, how many external API calls maybe that you're running, you may at some point decide to and need to upgrade to, let's say our launch tier from Explorer, if you're getting a lot of traffic and using a lot of bandwidth, or maybe doing a really API heavy build for a test application, you might need to upgrade uh, to accommodate that. Typically in our experience, it would take a pretty active project. If you were loading like, a, let's say a blog, you're probably looking at thousands of visitors a month to that blog before you need to even worry about passing up the bandwidth. It can vary project to project, but that's just a loose guideline uh, for anyone looking at building on, on Builder. So who benefits the most from having the Studio Pass to get all of these features and the ability to build and publish an unlimited number of projects on Builder? The two biggest groups that we see are full agencies who maybe are using custom websites and web apps that they're building inside a builder and part of their pitching process. So they could build really quickly with builders, no code tools and launch applications to win new business, to show progress to customers and to put it in test environments really quickly. Another big group of people is indie developers and people who are constantly coming up with and testing out different ideas they can do that really quickly in Builder, launch that idea, and actually have it out there live and being tested before they have to decide if they need to upgrade that project. And so those are the two groups of people that we typically see, that indie developer or those agencies who are doing a lot of different projects, they get a lot of value out of having a Builder Studio Pass. Now, that doesn't rule out the fact that even if you're coming with just one project to Builder, you may decide that a Builder Studio Pass 
is a better solution for you than maybe let's say upgrading all the way to pro instead of jumping to the 119 dollars a month tier on pro you could instead grab a studio pass nft and it might work out where you could say hey pay 500 dollars one time and get all the benefits of the pro plan but then as a follow-up only have to worry about upgrading to launch your pro when the the limits of your plan such as hosting api calls and whatnot require that upgrade so if you think that the studio pass is a good solution for you go ahead and check out our video about how to purchase it and we'll walk you through a couple different options that you have to get started there